I'd say it happens at night, a lot at night, a lot at weekends. It happens a lot. Well, you paid to park in a lot for two hours, but when you get back to the car 10 minutes late, you find your car booted. Sound familiar to you? News 4's Edward Birch live at the 815 Lee parking lot in Nashville near the Gulch. Edward, you spoke with several folks today who say this happened to them. Yeah, Tracy, not only did they come out to their far, or car and find this uh, sticker on it, they also found a boot on all four wheels. Now, this sign clearly says that the parking policy is strictly enforced. The folks I talked to say that is an understatement. I come out to my car and I got a boot. Michael Allen is a local musician who works near 8th Avenue in Lee. He knows firsthand how quickly a car can get a boot slapped on it. A computer reads when you parked and they come by and check it, and if you're two minutes late, you got a boot. I wanted to jack my car up, take the boot off. I, I tried everything to take that boot off, I'm not gonna lie. What starts out as a $5 ticket for two hours worth of parking can turn into a $50 fine to remove the boots for an expired ticket. I'd say it happens at night, a lot at night, a lot at weekends, yeah. To me, there ought to be a lead way where you get 15, 20 minutes. The sign at the lot clearly states violators will be booted at the owner's expense. The fee goes to Nashville Booting LLC. We reached out to the company but was told they needed to speak with corporate first. On the company's website, it lists advantages of using Nashville Booting Company, including increased revenue for parking lots and reducing overhead. You know, they don't give you 20 minutes. They don't, they, they, they're, they're, they're making money. Now, I also called this number listed for the parking lot. They said that I would need to talk to Nashville Booting. Now, I also asked for a manager to speak with about this story. I was told I would get a call back, but I did not. Now, also on this ticket, there's a little part that says that you will be subject to criminal and civil legal action. I talked with Metro Police, and they say that the criminal aspect is not true, but that you would be subject to civil action. Tracy? All right, Edward Birch. Thanks so much. Stay on it. I know you will.